like I say, just because you are or you die doesn't mean you're always going to be dead necessarily. Although it generally does mean you're going to be dead. <laughs> uh, never be coming back. Like I say, not everyone comes back from whatever or whatever ville. And technically, I had a lot more going for me than most people. Like I said, if I was anybody else, I'd be dead. Very much dead. My name was supposed to be Lucifer Star, and I was technically killed when I was 40 or some age like that. I don't know. Anyway, now I'm Brian, and uh, leader of the free world, and, uh, you know, lots of things. Public education, all that stuff. I invented lots of things and then used that money to buy a country and even have everything built. The way it is. But I also led people, and I also gave people faith that their life would be made better, and I told them how to build things and help them do that. And plus, you know, I later on became a board commander or collective commander, as they say, Starfleet, whatever. You know, any kind of group that wanted technology or needed technology and, you know, needed, you know, my practices are used in companies and factories and countries. They're all command structures and designs and rules and all that stuff. That was my specialty, like I say. I'm Lucifer, all Brian, you know. I am the person that invented, you know, team structure and all that kind of stuff. Way back in the past. Like I said, ancient creator, ancient director, ruler, and all that other stuff. Um, the namer of America and pretty much... All kinds of things. Anyway, um, so that's basically my background and who I am. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, everyone kind of knows this, though. Uh, like I said, I invented the um, internal affairs, uh, the military, the CDC, all that kind of stuff. Those were all my organizations, my ideas. I spent months on it, like six months. Like I say... Communism, the financial system, payroll, um, how the different things would work, the pricing of everything, the whole structure of society. That was all me. I was a young child and I was inventing for my country, my planet, myself, everyone else. Um, like I say, I was killed, actually, or held captive or whatever, and the Borg or Starfleet or someone saved me. I was saved at some point in time, or it's a time-space dimensional whatever. I can't really tell you how it works exactly. But anyway, needless to say, um, and it goes to Lucifer and refining of drugs and American government and just everything, you know, and basically technology and how to get technologies. So anyway, um, also Westinghouse and all that stuff. Like I said, the explanation of for how I did it was Borg, Starfleet, Nine Races, um, the future of technology and people. And freedoms, of course. Like I say, civil rights, um, what is your right, what is their right, um, you know, what can others do to you, what can governments do to you, what can you do to governments or other people. What are your rights? All that stuff. That was all me. All of the whole government. I'm a specialist in government and do a little time space dabbling myself. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm a specialist in government and all that other stuff. And most people wouldn't know this. But because it was, be you know, it's complicated, like I say. And um, like I say, I wouldn't be saying this if it wasn't real. It wasn't true. I don't know why nobody knows or nobody knew, but, and I was kind of held captive or hostage and some other people wanted to take over my government or my country. So anyway, like I said, it, le it led to the creation, you know, I'm the person who created humanity, although they wanted that person dead. So technically I was killed as that person or I was killed right after I created humanity or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. Someone didn't want me knowing, or not, didn't want anybody else knowing that I created humanity. So, or whatever. Anyway, it's complicated. It has to do with taking over the planet Earth or taking over my empire or something. And then kidnapping me and holding me hostage and killing me. Like I said, it wasn't the Borg. It wasn't the um, 
wasn't the American government, it wasn't anybody else. And technically, if you look at Brian's life, you would not see a damn thing of it. So, at least I don't think so. So anyway, it's complicated. And you would never even know it, but it's true.